are ener uh, energetic in nature too. We're putting in an extra ATP here to make this activated precursor. That makes this thermodynamically favorable. And we know that the breakdown is thermodynamically favorable. So that's a, kind of a generality for pathways. Let's make this multi-step. <coughs> Connecting any two points in metabolism, the cell has to decide which way it wants to go. Both sides should be favorable. Let me, let me put A down here, a little lower on an energy level. The way it's written, the trip from B to A is downhill. So that would flow that way necessarily. You don't have to worry about the energetics. The trip from A to B, like from acetyl-CoA up to fatty acid, it's uphill. You have to throw a little extra energy into it to make that happen. That's why we coupled ATP. But in essence, this is this is like any pairing. You could do rec replicate this in any number of places in the metabolism of the cell. You've got two endpoints. At any one point in time, the cell might want to go this way or this way. The cell has set it up with different enzymes and uh, ATP input where necessary, so that either pathway is thermodynamically favorable. It's not a question of, oh, is this a lot of work? It can go. It can go this way, it can go that way. It's either naturally downhill or it's powered uphill by ATP. And so it's a, it can go just at the drop of a hat. That's one thing. You throw enough ATP at it so that both directions are thermodynamically favorable. And then it's a question of what the cell wants. Does it want to go this way? Does it want to go that way? It can use regulation. And because of the differences in the pathway, you know, this one can be off and this one on, or vice versa, just to, to meet the needs of the cell. So 